I'm going to admit to you right now that I had a genius commentary for this video while I made it, but, you know, being the smart little bugger that I am, I completely forgot to turn on my microphone. So, looks like we're doing Vice Cipher. Great. Yeah, this is going to be a long, long clip, isn't it? Okay, anyway. So today I'm going to teach you how to make lasers out of Filmora Wondershare deal. It'd probably help to have it if you don't, if you want to do this, so. Yeah, that's the original clip. Absolutely stupid. Here, let me just cut to the good stuff. So we're back for the good stuff. Here are the three laser points that thingy watches you're going to want to draw. Take screenshots of them or whatever right here. That's the best I can do for you, I'm sorry. Anyway, well, I probably could put a link, but that'd be difficult. And I'm lazy. So just go ahead and upload those to your little source pool, Mawacha, I guess. And then you're gonna drag them into each place where a laser needs to be, matching up the distance, the uh, flatness, I guess, in green screen each them of them in. Each one should only last for... Give it a second. Just give it a second. Hang on. Don't quit on me, soldier. Don't you quit on me yet. There. One millisecond. The lowest of numbers. You're going to want to try to fit each laser frame into and make it flat-ish, I guess. You know, make it look like it's actually going somewhere. Yeah, j let's just cut this whole flipping part. And so, you kind of just paste each thing. Only, every laser should only last like three frames. And as it moves, you really need to shrink each of them going. Because it's going to be moving so fast, technically you wouldn't be able to see it. And also, hang on, just give it a second. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I downloaded this little spark explosion from, like, a welding thing. That seemed to work really good for Play. when the laser strikes. If you want to add, like, a full-on explosion, go ahead and do that anyway. It's pretty easy just to download stuff off the internet like that, so... I mean, I mean, so the explosion... I like the sparks better. Explosions are optional. I think it looks decent. Play. Right. right. Um, it's all about angles, don't forget angles, and I'll show you a couple different, um, I feel bad about saying angles. <laughs> angles. And this is where that other, one of the other frames comes in. The one that's way flatter, as you can see right there. Man, I wish that voice, that commentary. It was way better than this. Next time, okay, uh, I won't let you down next time. So, pretty much just match up each frame individually. Just like everything else. Except, um, I made this look pretty fantastic. Instead of doing it like that, I came up with the idea of flipping it over like this. It actually looks pretty cool. It actually looks may cooler, I think, like that. And I think, I'm not positive about this frame, but I think I might flip it over. Like, kind of stretch it out a little bit so it's a little longer. Okay, never mind. I don't do that. For the next couple of frames, I kind of stretched them out a little bit more to make them look a little bit more 3D. Even though we're doing all of our effects with like completely 2D effects, it's really, I think, quite an easy little effect right here. I really had to get creative. I got a little cocky about some of my editing skills, really, for this one. So I actually needed a little bit of help. And I came up with all these techniques on my own-ish. I had some ideas to use stock green footage off of YouTube, but that was a pain to try to match up. So I kind of had to figure out my own way. Each of their lasers was originally going to be um, a solid beam, but that just turned out weird. Like, really weird. 
Like, as in bad. Really bad. I actually have re-edited so many scenes from that movie, it's not even funny anymore. Okay, here's the side angle. If you're firing off-screen to the left or to the right or the up or the down. Starfire. Anyway, so, yeah, it's this one's by far the easiest because there's no need for dimensions. That's the word I've been missing. Dimensions. Three-dimensional. So much better. And you want to put a little tiny little fart thing at the end of each just to show it's starting to come out. And then after that is, um, stretch it back out and fight and move it a little bit further away as you can see momentarily. There we go. See, then just move it a little bit out. Sometimes you make that one last for four frames. I did four frames for this one, actually. Normally, just stick with three. If it's going, it's the gun midway hanging off the edge of the screen. That's all you need. But for this, it could be a longer shot, actually. So, you know, keep it cool. Make sure you don't get too lazy. I was pretty lazy with my animation skills because I was just starting, but I'm starting to get better. And let me know if you want to see more of it. Write down in the comments, like this video.